Assalamualaikum um, and hi again we are going to continue with chapter 9 which is titled promotional mix uh, we have covered uh, the two piece out of the four piece which is one product number two is place chapter 7 and chapter 8 and now I'm going to continue with the third uh, P which is promotions in chapter 9 there are six learning outcomes what is promotional mix and goals of promotion number two is the IDA concept number three uh, advertising number four sales promotions number five public relations and number six is personal selling okay learning outcome number one what is promotion and the goals of promotion promotion is a communication by marketers that to informs to persuades and to reminds the potential buyers of a product in order to influence an opinion or elicit a response from the consumers it is considered as an effort by the marketers in order to communicate the product that they have with the consumers in the market. Without promotion, there is no way that a consumers can know about the marketers product or services. And what is promotional mix? It is actually a strategy which, which is defined as a coordinated plan for the optimal use of the elements of the promotion which include the four main ingredients in promotion number one is advertising number two is personal selling number three is sales promotion and number four is public relations i will get into details of these four in main types of promotional mix later in this chapter then we continue with the goal of promotion promotion seeks to modify the behavior and thoughts in the consumer in some way and to reinforce existing behavior therefore the goal of promotion is to one is to inform number two is to persuade and number three to remind inform bermaksud untuk memberitahu persuade bermaksud untuk memujuk dan remind bermaksud untuk mengingatkan Goal number one is to inform. Informative promotion is more relevant during the early stages of the product life cycle when it can increase the demand of the products. Informative promotion explains the purpose and benefits of the product or services. And of course, the more complex the products often require informative promotion to explain the to explain the technical benefits of the products goal number two is to persuade persuasion the second promotional task is simply attempt to motivate a consumers to purchase or to use more of the products persuasion normally becomes the primary goals of the promotion because as a marketers we need to make sure that the consumer are interested to buy our product or services so the goals of promotion is actually to ask them to persuade them untuk memujuk mereka untuk membeli barang ataupun servis produced by the marketers the aim of persuasion is to convince meyakinkan customer to buy the products rather than buying other product from other companies goal number three of promotion is to remind untuk mengingatkan Reminder promotion is used to keep the product or a brand name in the consumer's mind. So, reminder promotion is the common types of promotional mix during the maturity stage of the product in the product life cycle. So, the purpose of reminder promotion is to remind customer that the product still need, still be needed in the market remind customers where to buy the product and also to maintain the customer awareness of a product. 